Hello guys. Welcome to 10th session of Razer View Engine Tutorials. Till now we are created simple HTML controls. In this session we will generate combo box by using drop down list method of HTML helper. I was already created new action and view for generating drop down. Right at sign HTML dot drop down list. Again there are various overloaded versions exist. First parameter is a name for drop down. Second parameter specify list of options for that drop down. It is IE numberable of select list item, so we can create new anonymous list of select list item. Within this list we need to specify list of options for that drop down. Select list item specify name and value for that item. Along with this we can also specify whether this option is selected or not. Let's copy select list item and change values for other options. Third parameter is option label for drop down it will down when any item is not selected. In this example we are created drop down list from static data but in real life we need to create from database. I am already created table named language drop down. Which has two fields name and value I will provide script for this table so don't worry. For this example I am going to use entity data model. For this right click on model folder. Select add. Select data from left side. Select a do.net entity data model. Specify name for our model. Let take language. We will create from exist database so select first option and click on next. Click on new connection. Write server name. In my case it is .sql express. Select database from drop down. Click OK. Change name of entity. Click on next. Select tables that you want to use. I am selecting language drop down. Change namespace to model. Click on finish. Open form controller. First of all add using statement for our model namespace. Create new action named drop down. Use using statement and create entity object. Write entities dot language drop down dot to list. Which will return list of language drop down. And now we need to convert this list to select list. 
For this use select list class. Pass our list. And name of value field for our drop down. And name of text field for our drop down. Right click and select add view. Select empty template. Select model in our case it is language drop down. And select entity for db context. Right at sign html dot drop down. Within parenthesis specify name for drop down. And in second parameter specify option label. Right click and select view in browser. You will get same output. However in view page we are not write any single line for retrieving select options. By default drop down will try to retrieve select list from view beg or data based on name of drop down. In this example I was used language for drop down name as well as view beg property. Let's see what we are learn in this session. Here is our first example in which we are specified static options for drop down. For this we are created anonymous list of select item. And specify text and value for each option. After this we are retrieving options from database. For this we are use ado.net entity data model and retrieve data into list and create a object of select list in which we are pass list and name of value and text field in database and store it into view beg note that name of drop down and property of view beg must be same thanks for watching have a nice day if you have any doubt feel free to contact me